He was an All-Mountain West Conference safety at Utah, a member of the 2009 Sugar Bowl champions, and an NFL draft pick and three-year NFL veteran with the Tennessee Titans. Robert Johnson is our guest on Sportsbeat. Rojo, how you surviving the quarantine? Uh, you see, it's, it's a little rough up here. <laughs> I'm in my basement, you know, but it's, it's cool. It's, it's been okay. Before we get into the draft and life in the NFL, I have to ask you about the great debate that we hosted on KSL Sports dot com this week the 2004 Utes versus the 2008 Utes we hear what your teammates had to say and I'm sure you're gonna say that 08 was the best so I'm gonna give you the floor now why was 2008 <laughs> better than 2004 hey defense win games ah. <laughs> there was nothing against the defense that year I mean they had um, a very very explosive offense but um I mean our year was just it was special it was it was a year that um I'll say that uh, we all came together and um, we figured that we have to be top three in defense wise to win games and it worked out good for us. 12 years after that special season, how cool is it that so many fans are still celebrating what you guys accomplished? Um, I mean, um, first off, I mean, the state of Utah is, is an amazing state and it's awesome to see that the state still remember us. They still um, adore us a little bit. I mean, I, I, I always talk to people and mention I was on that Sugar Bowl year and everybody get a little bit excited, you know. Um, I mean, like the state of Utah is just a, a, an amazing state. And um, for us as football players to give that back to the state to put um, the University of Utah on the map again that year was a great um, a great step into that, that, that uh, Pac-12. So it was awesome. All right, let's dig into the draft. Seven youths were selected in this year's NFL draft. I'd love to get a few of your thoughts on this class. And I'll start with a defensive back. How good can Jalen Johnson be at the next level? Well, I mean, um, that dude is amazing. Like, I remember talking to him last year before the start of the season, and um, I was I was telling him, I'm like, dude, all you got to do is stay healthy and um, and just ball out. And um, he got things that a lot of corners, like they're starting to change these corners, and he got the, he got the height, he got the length, his arms his arms is long, he run pretty fast, he got a good uh, uh, knack for the ball, like he can catch it, and then he scores with the ball. And I was kind of mentioning all that last year too, like during the season, that he's a special player. And for him, he's he's gonna fit in perfect. He's gonna fit in so perfect with the Chicago defense. Like um, you gotta remember they love tall corners. Um, he make plays and that's what you need. And then they own grass too, which makes it even better. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, three Utah defensive backs taken in the first three rounds. Why is Utah having so much success developing NFL talent specifically um, at that defensive back position, safety and corner? Well, you know, I'll go all the way back to, um, you know, Eric Weddle. I mean, um, Eric Weddle kind of opened up the doors for um, a lot of the University of Utah players to be looked at. And um, the system that we run, um, you know, like Coach Witt, dad, basically it's his system. It's Fred Whittenham's system, and it's an NFL caliber uh, system. And, you know, then you have people that's very experienced, like Coach Scali, that's running the safeties. Then you have Shaw, that's just business savvy, too. You know, he definitely understands the ins and outs of the defense. And then you have Coach Witt that's basically just letting defense do what they need to do. And, um, you know, the whole defense of um, the whole defense played really good this year. And um, nothing against the offense. The offense played good, but the defense played really good against this Pac-12 talent that was out there. And, you know, we dropped it. We dropped a couple of uh, plays. But honestly, to look at our secondary and see two safeties being drafted. I mean, I'm very, very proud of Coach Coach Witt, the way that he handled it. But Coach Scally kind of put it all together with the safeties and um, safety pride. Man, I'm really, really proud of them boys. You now work as a professional growth mentor, helping former student athletes find employment after sports. What challenges are you seeing them have in making that transition? Well, I mean, I use me as the prime example is that, um, you know, I went through that uh, new trying to identify myself, you know, when sports is over. It's, it's a tough situation, and I was blessed and lucky enough to make it to the NFL. I mean, I, I made I played all four years. I got my pension. You know, that, that's really good. But when sports is over, it's a life continues. You got to be prepared for it. You got to you got to understand that life continues. And um, I, I tried to guide them the best way that I could. And um, I currently right now, um, you know, I I go back to Coach Ataki. He and when you think about football and try to put it into football terms, Coach Sataki, he came to L.A. and seen a kid that he seen the world in, and that gave me that opportunity, and I trust him. And, you know, he helped me get to where I'm at right now. That's my way of giving back to the whole state is talking to all the athletes and giving them a heads up that sports in, career kind of starts. If there's a student athlete making that transition and is watching now, how can they reach out to you and get assistance? 
So um, I'm definitely on LinkedIn. Um, it's, uh, Ro- it's Robert Rojo Johnson. That's, that's me on LinkedIn. And then also they can always send me an email with their resume. And I give them the best the best advice that I can give them by trying to get them here at Northwestern Mutual. But then on top of that, just get them to see that, hey, man, the sky's the limit right now. You got, you got tangibles that nobody has as an athlete. So um, they can definitely reach out to me and my email address is uh, is uh, r.johnson at uh, northwesternmutual.com, but it's spelled N-M. So N as in Northwestern and M as in mutual. So, um, you know, that's the one thing, that's the one way they can hit me up. So that's two avenues or, you know, if they find me, let me know. I'll definitely reach out to them and try to find them my way the best way I could or they find me. Well, it's great what you're doing, Rojo, and it's always great to catch up and look back at some of those great memories from those great teams you were on. Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, best of luck in this quarantine. Hopefully you can uh, find a haircut and a shave soon. I know, right? But my jerseys look good, though. They do. (laughs) They always look good. (laughs) Thanks a lot, AJ. You got it. Thank you.